What's good, y'all? I'm gonna be talking about Chimeco, and uh, there are some, excuse me, oh, super awesome uh, buffs and changes here, as always. Before I get into anything else, I want to quickly mention for not only new viewers, but also my returning viewers who have yet to do so, to check the description down below for a link to a Google Sheet. This Google Sheet that I use in the videos, you can access this yourself, and you can view everything, all of the buffs and changes for yourself, as well as... Um, most importantly, all of these move uh, buffs and changes, those are extremely important. I would definitely give those a look. Sorry if I'm uh, repeating this intro for every video, it might get annoying, but I do just want to hit that home for new viewers especially. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to be talking about Chimeco. So uh, important buffs here, uh, pretty straightforward. So this actually might be a quicker video, uh, but the most, Im uh, not important thing, but the most glaring thing that people are going to be like confused about, I guess, would be the psychic normal typing. Uh, reason being, in Pokemon, like, logically, normal type is sound type. Um, that's why x a normal type, that's why I think even Pyro is low-key maybe a normal type. Not only because it's, it's like a regular generic mammal, but also because I think it has to do with the roaring and the sound. That would be my guess, at least. Um, and there's a bunch, of, a bunch more Pokemon I can't think of right now, but uh, Meloetta, for example, is psychic normal in, real, in normal games. Uh, it will, uh, spoiler alert, it won't be psychic normal anymore. Neither of the forms will be, but uh, a psychic part normal. Neither of the forms are part normal. However, uh, my point is, is that sound type is normal in Pokemon, essentially. So that's why they're normal type. Not to mention they are kind of an inanimate object, like they're just a, oh, it's a, it's a little bell with a wind chime, you know? Um, the other typing I was considering was psychic flying. Uh, with Aerolate, I was considering psychic flying, Aerolate with Boom Burst. Because that, either, that way they still get the stab Boom Burst, it's actually even stronger in that case. But uh, you know, flying like wind and stuff, but um, we actually, I don't know, I just like Psychic Normal a little bit more. Um, it's, it, you could argue, it's not a better typing, but I think it just fits Chimek a little bit better. Not to mention it is a really good typing in terms of how it mixes with Psychic, we all know that, you know, it makes you immune to ghosts instead of weak to it. Um, and the only thing you lose is a fighting resistance, which goes to a neutrality, which is fine. Um, that's a totally fair trade-off. So. Uh, yeah, not to mention you get dual stab. So yes, obviously you do have stab boom burst as well as plenty of other great sound moves which I'll get into. And you can abuse those with your new ability amplifier and your much better stats. So Chimeco was actually pretty tanky before. Um, obviously in the grand scheme of this ROM hack it would be pretty frail, relatively speaking, um, without the boost to its spadef and stuff. So now it has a very good spadef set of 110. So 75, 80, 110 bulk is very solid. It has a good 95 speed stat which you can abuse with agility or choice scarf um, really nicely. Not to mention it has dual stab priority with influx and swift. Um, which is cool. Um, but yeah, also Shockwave for coverage move priority if you want that, which is reteachable, which is nice. But yeah, uh, most important things are Levitated Amplifier and the stat boost. So it has a great 115 special attack stat as well. Okay, so it's actually pretty tanky, pretty fast, and is very strong. Um, and that's just really, really cool. It's a really solid mon. And then it has, uh, obviously, in his ROM hack, you do have access to infinite usability capsules. So not only can you switch to levitate whenever you need it, because being immune to ground is never bad, especially when you're neutral to ground and you're not, you know, physically, for example, you're not that tanky. So with, you know, zero investment, you'll be, you know, taking over half from physical ground moves for the most part. So it's nice to be able to switch into those um, for free. It's very nice. Um, and then, of course, that's the beauty of the ROM hack is that you can essentially tailor your EV spreads uh, for each fight, as well as your abilities and your moveset. Um, that's what you should be doing. That's what I designed it for. That's why your Pokemon has two uh, good abilities. So, uh, yeah, no no exception in this case. Uh, you have Levitate, and then, of course, you have Amplifier, which is a very fitting ability given their whole sound inspiration and how they, you know, they, they're, they're, they're a wind chime, and they, and they make noise, and they cry and shit. So, uh, that's great, because it makes... Uh, I have a little guide here on the move sheet, as you can see. Or, sorry, on the uh, ability sheet, excuse me. Um, obviously, you can find all these moves actually on the move sheet, but I have them listed here for convenience. So, uh... Obviously, yeah, that stab, boom burst at level 50, which is actually pretty early. Uh, that'll be like late Ula Ula, uh, Aether Foundation type time type uh, period, which is really good. That's like a really fucking early uh, boom burst. Uh, and that's 150 base power now with Amplifier. Uh, uh, boom burst is nerfed to 125 base power. However, however, I've given it to way more Pokemon, so that's a given. Um, and not to mention like all the other uses of our way stronger. For example, like Explode has like fucking 140 something special attack now. So yeah. Um, it's not actually a nerf in my uh, overall. I mean, no drawback. 125 fire move is still fucking insane. Um, of course, something like Hyper Beam is still stronger than Amplifier Boom Burst. Hyper Beam is 160 base power. However, Hyper Beam lowers your special attack stat by two, um, which is still great. But you know, Boom Burst is more spammable. Um, so yeah, that's Boom Burst with Amplifier, and then uh, other options which are also very good. So early game, uh, you have Echoed Voice, which is slightly inaccurate. So I would only use that with like either a Wide Lens or um, like early game shit. Uh, Metronome Echo Echo is obviously pretty strong, but it's kind of gimmicky and 
difficult to actually pull off. Uh, you might need the speed with choice covers. I don't know. It's just not that great of an option past the early game, in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, you could use that. Um, early game, it's very powerful, though. Oh, super powerful early game uh, for, like, the first island or two. Um, and then, obviously, Harmonize is an amazing move. Uh, Harmonize is stab, 60 base power, and that always... Oh, that's 72 base power with uh, Amplifier active. Keep in mind, you're using Amplifier probably 80% of the time. And uh, the other 20% of the time, you'll slap on Levitate for a specific fight, you know? So, essentially, Harmonize and also Dis Dismal Voice... Excuse me, blah, 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 blah. Let's try that again. <laughs> Disarming voice and dismal cry are two coverage moves, which are actually very good types coverage, uh, type coverage for a psychic, you know, psychic normal stab, uh, fairy, and dark moves. Um, those, all three of those moves, harmonize. Sorry, right, so, oh, God, I am tongue twisted right now more than usual. Harmonize, disarming voice, and dismal cry are all 72 base power, and they lower both offensive stats by two. Uh, I can actually put. Here we go. Um, so yeah, that's really fucking great, okay? That's a strong move, and it, it's very good for utility. Uh, it also works great with their new bulk. They're, you know, they're good for death and stuff, and they're solid defense. Uh, Snore is really cool. Uh, Snore actually always flinches now, which is funny. Um, it sounds overpowered, but then you, then you realize that rest only lets you sleep for two turns anyways. So it's very good on, okay, like, Trimeco is one of the best Snore users in the game. Uh, al alongside the X-Blood, but it's actually faster than X-Blood, so uh, you could even argue it's better than X-Blood for a Snore. Obviously, it's Snore. It's not as strong as x blads but it's still very good. And what you can do with that is you can literally just, like, rest, cosmic power, Snore, and then, like, filler move, you know? And that's fucking, that's great. It's, 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 it's really good. Uh, this will cry could be your other moves that, I don't know, to hit fucking ghosts if you need it for the specific fight. But, I mean, obviously you can always just teach Shadow Ball via TM if you need to hit a ghost type for a boss fight. But yeah, Snore is super great on uh, Chanaka, which is pretty funny. Uh, obviously, you can only flip two times in a row, then you have to rest and take a whole turn to rest and whatever. But you could that would be really good with, like, Cosmic Power. Uh, that'd be super great. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Uh, you also have Commotion for... Um, it's weaker than Hyper Voice, but... Um, so basically, Hyper Voice is 114 base power with Amplifier, which is just a very good drawback free stab move. Very powerful. Commotion is 102 base power. However, Commotion will always confuse the opponent. So, you know, you could use that over Hyper Voice. I would rather use the power of Hyper Voice, but Commotion is also really early. It's like level 32 or something. So that's a lot earlier than Hyper Voice, which is like mid Ulu Ulu Island. Early. Yeah, you could say early Ulu Ulu. But yeah, uh, Aeroblast is also a new amplifier move I added um, when I was doing Flygon changes. So yeah, that's a pretty good one. That always crits. So that's a uh, 117 base power when you consider the amplifier boost and the crit. And then uh, you guys can read. I don't know why I have to explain all this out, but yeah, Synchronoise is pretty great as well. Synchronoise, uh, also Uproar. Uproar is a 120 base power. Um, t the three turn move that uh, it's just pretty fucking good. Like, that's just a really nice coverage move. However, the obvious downside is that if you're playing on set style, which is intended, you are locked in battle and you can't switch out, um, which is part of the cost of using um, a strong move like that, you know? So and that's why I wouldn't run it unless you really knew for sure that you could that you would be okay to lock yourself into it. But if you lock yourself into it, you're doing a Nuzlocke and you fucking die, then that's, you know, that's your fault. <laughs> you got to play smart. Um, yeah, that's about it for Amplifier moves, okay? Got great stab and then uh, great normal stabs and then a couple of covered moves like Uproar, Aero Blast, Disarming Voice, and Dismal Cry, okay? That's Amplifier for you. Most, most importantly, it's just for Boom Bursts and Hyper Voice and other shit. Um, Synchronizer is really cool as well. That only works on a Psychic or Normal type. However, uh, it's a stab 120 base power move that becomes 144 base power and it always gives you a plus one special attack boost. So at level 30, that's very good. Um, obviously, you wouldn't keep that that long because it is still very situational, but for example, versus a Psychic type or a Normal type Pokemon, Normal type especially because those are pretty common, you can go you, you can go off and use that. Um, uh, it could even be stronger than Extrasensory in some cases, depending on the Pokemon. But yeah, um, then a uh, super effective Extrasensory, I'm trying to say, on a, on a Psychic. What am I saying Psychic? Yo, I am a little bit flustered, excuse me, that, I forgot I said anything about that. Point being... Great moveset, okay? It has all kinds of coverage here, as you can see. Aura Sphere, Focus Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Hurricane, Shadow Ball, Mystical Fire, Aura Sphere, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Energy Ball, blah, 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 blah. You guys get the idea. A lot of those moves are buffed to change, so I would check those out in the, in the description down below, as always, but that's the general idea. And it also has Nasty Blood and Calm Mind. Uh, the Calm Mind Barrier Snore... Uh, sleep to uh, Rest would be pretty fun. Like, you could totally do that. Um, that'd be very funny, actually. Um, you know, it's a little bit of a gimmick, and you could totally do that. Uh, Taunt could be pretty good with that set as well, if you want to do that, or something else. I don't know, whatever you want to do. Agility could be good. Agility, trip, uh, agility, cosmic power, rest, and uh, Snore. I don't know, that kind of thing. It's funny. Not too much of Snore is reteachable, so that's the good thing about Snore. Um, 
Yeah, that's about it. I think there's a couple other small things I could mention, like you have reliable recovery with recover, of course. Um, other good utility like Taunt, Encore, Disable, Screech. Uh, Wish is situationally better than Recover. Psychic Terrain could be cool for Hala. Uh, Z Super Sonic gives you plus two special attacks, so that's a pretty early game boosting option. Yawn is kind of nice for some things. Trick Room is cool, it's neutral priority now, so you can use like Trick Room Eject Button or a Trick Room. Uh, excuse me, Trick Room. Uh, Quick Claw or whatever the fuck you want to do. Quick Claw is buffed to uh, always activate now, but it's only uh, it goes away when you use it, like a white herb, for example. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it off there. I, I could mention a couple other things. Like Lucky Chant is pretty cool because it prevents crits, and there's a lot of new crit moves that are running around with Ruthless and all those other crazy shit. So being immune to the... not uh, Preventing the crits is nice, especially if you're boosting up your defenses. For example, that Cosmic Power Snore set might want to run Lucky Chant. If first for one, but you would probably run that for like one or two levels, then you would delete it later. Like you're not gonna keep that long term, but you could definitely keep that. For example, if there's a boss fight, level 41 that has three ruthless Pokemon and they all gonna crit you and kill you, then you could use Lucky Chant, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, stored power is very good. It uh, gives you plus one special attack every time you use it. However, it only has one uh, three PP. Excuse me. Uh, Psycho Boost is a very strong move. 150 base power minus two special attacks. Side Strikes 130 base power, 85% accurate. Blah 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 blah. You guys get the idea. Parish Song is very good for totems. For example, versus Totem Komoo, Totem Rabambi, you could use Parish Song. Um, if you have no other answers and you're doing a team locked Nuzlocke or something, you could just teach that and you'd be good to go. If you just, you know, I mean, it wouldn't be that easy because you would still have the ally to worry about and you, you can only protect every other turn. So it's not as free as you might think. Well, you know, you, you could make it work. Um, not to mention they might protect and then they fuck up. Actually, I don't know if Parish Song works like that, but it doesn't, doesn't matter, okay? I'll leave it off here. This video is going on long enough, so this is supposed to be a shorter one because honestly, it's very straightforward. Not that it's bad. Very great buffs. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a beast now. You'd love to see it, but it's just kind of simple changes. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it off there. Thank you very much for listening, everybody. Um, if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. If you have listened this far, you should definitely be subscribed already. Um, also, make sure you drop a comment down below. Also, drop a like on the video. That kind of stuff would help me with the algorithm and stuff. Um, I'm on the road to 900, 900 subscribers. I was going to say 800. <laughs> to 800. Jesus, God. 900 subs. Okay, that's my next goal. Man, I am. Yeah, I need to end the video because clearly I cannot speak English right now. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for bearing with my ranting and stuff. Uh, hopefully, you found it informative. And thank you everybody. As always, link in the description down below for the changes. Also, Discord server if you want to join that. So yeah, bye-bye.